Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Special Edition Nintendo Switch. Now there's not been many Special Edition Nintendo Switch consoles, but they had to do one for Pokemon, didn't they? And I collect Nintendo consoles and Pokemon Special Editions, so naturally I had to pick this one up. This is available in two editions, but both Switch are exactly the same. There is a Let's Go Eevee one and a Let's Go Pikachu. The only difference is the version of the game you get pre-installed. So as you can see here, this is the Let's Go Eevee one and it is pre-installed. And a nice big picture of Eevee there. Okay, so there's not much to show on the box other than what it contains, you get the Switch, Switch Dock, the game and the Pokeball Plus. On the back you have this amazing artwork, I love it. You know, and I'm not sure what's usually on the back of Nintendo Switch boxes. It was a while since I got mine on launch and I just love this artwork. And then here it shows you in more detail, including the wires what it contains. So let's open up. Hopefully there's no tape. Oh wow, even down to the detail on that, look. is a little sleeping Pikachu and Eevee. And as we open, we see straight away there you have the Joy-Cons. You have the Eevee one. Let's have a look. So a uh, very light light brown that is the left joy-con i'm gonna pop that back in there i don't have time to set this up straight away because i want to get playing let's go and i've got to do a system transfer as well um and this is the pikachu which is the right one pretty pretty colors pop that back in there and the switch itself and I thought this would be standard but no they have I'm gonna take this out of the plastic so you can see it better and I completely forgot to get a screen protector but look at the Pikachu and Eevee patterns on the back which are you know I love that extra bit of detail I think this is the first time I could be wrong this is the first time I believe they've actually change the switch itself not the standard uh black back but i i think that's absolutely adorable and a nice a nice touch it adds a bit more special to this special edition so i take that off and underneath here we have you have you still get the controller grip so you put both your joy cons in there if you're playing if you're playing another game and you have your joy con straps so this one is a darker brown and that is for the eevee side and this one oh no that's dark brown for pikachu side sorry and this is the lighter color so it's both of their tail colors so that's the eevee tail and that's a pikachu tail and those go on the joy cons um, i'll be honest i don't use my i mean i very rarely take the joy cons off but obviously for the motion control in this game very 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 recommended that you use those wrist straps okay let's have a look over here first so you got the Pokeball Plus information, you have your HDMI cable, you have the switch power supply, which I'll leave in there for now. It's only a power supply, you don't need to see that really. You want to see the interesting stuff, like the very, very small USB charger, USB-C, I believe, to charge the Pokeball Plus. You know, I can never get wires back into a console box when I've opened them. And here it is. 
This is the Pokeball Plus. Uh, not my first time uh, with one of these. I was very lucky to play the demo. And you can, can you undo that? I'm assuming you can, but I'm not gonna try. <laughs> you have, um, yes, I played the demo at an event and they give you one of these to play it with. So you have a nice clasp there. So you can have it hold on tight and to put your finger in just for an extra bit of grip. And I love how the Pokeball Plus feels. It is such a good, oh, it's trying to connect. So it has some charge in there already and there is a button up there. So Mew, are you in there Mew? Should have Mew inside this one which is a limited um, time thing, but we don't know how long. I've had a few people ask if you can take the strap off, and I do not believe you can. I believe in here is probably where you charge it. This is where I'm gonna really mess this up. And you have, I don't know if you can see, a very small sync button there as well. But I believe, and I don't want to, it's a little tough, but the, but the charging, uh, the charging slot is behind there, if you were wondering. But it's, you know, it's got a good weight to it, and I'm looking forward to playing Pokemon Go with this as well, because this also works as a, um, Pokemon Go Plus, and if you've got a Pokemon inside, it automatically spins the Pokestops, so you don't have to, which is kind of cool. So I'll just pop that back in there for now. And finally, we have the Switch Dock over here, which yeah, very, very well packaged. Let's have a look. Ready? I've not seen it yet. There they are. You have Eevee and Pikachu nicely displayed there on the front of the dock, which is nice because, you know, when you've got guests come round and you can, you know, show off how your Switch dock is different to everyone else's, and that is where your Switch plugs in. There, you've got two USB ports on the side, which is useful, so you can plug your... Pokeball Plus to charge in there. Obviously, you can see it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but nothing that can't be wiped off. And you see there, and the wires for the charge can come out there. And as you open up, so you've got your AC adapter, another USB port there. This is oh, USB 3. I didn't realize that. That's where I usually put a wire out there to charge my Pro Controller and your HDMI and then you can, you know, mess the wires, put it all in like that so it's all flat and uh, there you go. I think, I just think that is a really nice touch with the Switch dock and yes, and as you put the Switch on you have your EV Joy-Con on this side and your Pikachu Joy-Con on the matching side and I just think it's a very, very very pretty dock. Uh, overall, I think for a Pokemon fan, this is a fantastic special edition, which you should definitely consider picking up, especially if you've not got a Switch yet, because there are so many good games on the Nintendo Switch. And, you know, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I'm gonna finish recording this because I can't wait to get playing. And yes, there will be, you know, if you buy this, pre-installed either Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee. Uh, I'm not sure how it works when you do a system transfer. Uh, I'll have to work that out another time. But yes, let me know in the comments what you think of this very, very beautiful Pokemon Edition Nintendo Switch. And yeah, I'm going to stop babbling and I'm going to go and play the game. So I will see you guys next time.